Good day. My name is Lux Maharaj. I am the sales director for Parallel Wireless in Africa. I'm going to be discussing today why Africa needs Open RAN. First, we must understand that today everything, absolutely everything, is becoming open. We get open source, you get open access, you get open APIs. Then you'll see things like Android versus iPhone and so on. Now, what about the mobile operator? Are they going open? Yes, mobile operators are going open and it is called Open RAN. Everything that goes open causes a major disruption in the market. Prices start falling, there's mass manufacturing, lots more competition, a whole lot more options and much, much more innovation. Now, Africa is going open RAN, and you can see this in the press releases that have been released by various mobile operators. To mention a few, for example, MTN, Vodafone, but there's also Orange, Vodacom and various others. Now, what does Africa really want? In Africa, we want lower cost of calls, lower cost of internet, mobile money, e-health, e-education. Remember, we don't have fiber and Wi-Fi everywhere like uh, lots of first world countries. Wireless for us in Africa is the quickest. We know that data will improve our lives, but we definitely need more cheaper pricing from the mobile operators. Let's look at the mobile growth in Africa. It has been significant over the years because Africa loves to communicate. We love to talk. But in Africa, we mainly use prepaid GSM 2G. We have a bit of USSD and often slow data access via edge. We do have 3G and 4G. It is growing, but not everywhere. We'd love to have data access everywhere. Like I mentioned, we have the need for many applications from e-education, e-health, mobile banking, and so forth. Mobile operators are seeing this need. They are listening to us and they want to connect the unconnected. And today they are starting to do this with Open RAN. In Open RAN, the base station hardware can be made by just about anyone. Unlike the case of the traditional legacy vendors where they provide both the hardware and software, you got to buy it from them and this tends to keep their prices high. Now, when I say anyone can make the hardware, I'm talking about in the open market, we have an open RAN ecosystem and there are many of these hardware manufacturers, commonly those that tend to make antennas. These are examples of those types of vendors that make open RAN hardware. Now, the software in open RAN is generally not from the same company that makes the hardware. It is from another company. An example of that is someone like Parallel Wireless, and there are a few others. Software and hardware in the open RAN ecosystem is meant to work with each other. It is meant to be interoperable. Now, that means we want to prevent any kind of proprietary vendor lock-in. Meaning, again, like to I'm emphasizing again, the hardware and software does not have to be both from the same vendor. It can be a mixture of vendors in that way, preventing any kind of vendor lock-in. Open RAN software prevents the legacy vendors from nailing the mobile operator for things such as support on their platforms, upgrades on and features on their platforms. Because remember, if their systems are closed and if it is proprietary and it is not open, that means they tend to dictate the pricing for support, upgrades, features, and so forth. Now, that means at the end of the day that the mobile operator itself has to pay a lot to the vendors for building its own network. Now, that means at the end of the day, the cost of that network tends to filter down to us as the end user making our phone calls and data access 
more expensive. The need for expensive support is reduced in Open RAN, meaning the mobile operator has less OPEX. Features and upgrades are mainly software based, not requiring additional hardware. Therefore, the capex is far lower. For example, today you can add 4G on top of 2G with just a simple configuration change. Now in Africa, we don't tend to have an electricity grid everywhere. But with the lower power consumption in open RAN, we can easily run on solar panels and batteries. With open RAN, even the transition to 5G is becoming much more simple. Now, universal access means all of us must have communication. This is becoming a basic need in today's world. Open RAN makes universal access possible and we are seeing it in remote places such as DRC, Somalia, South Sudan, Guinea Conakry, Nigeria and various other countries. Now the need for expensive support is very much reduced in Open RAN, meaning that the mobile operator has less OPEX, unlike in, as it is the case today with the traditional vendors. The OPEX tends to be more with the traditional vendors. But if you look at the features and upgrades in Open RAN, because they are very much software based, there is also a lower capex. For example, even today, you can add 4G on top of 2G with just a simple configuration change. Now, you must also know in Africa, there's some very specific requirements. We don't have an electricity grid everywhere in Africa. Therefore, we have to have systems that are very effective on power consumption. And Open RAN delivers exactly that. It is very much focused on delivering solutions with lower power consumption that can allow us to easily run networks just on batteries and solar panels. And today, we are actually doing that in Africa. With Open RAN, even the transition towards 5G becomes much more simpler. Now in Africa, we talk about the concept of universal access. That means all of us must have communication. This is becoming a basic need in today's world. Open RAN makes universal access possible, and we are seeing it today in remote places such as DRC, Somalia, South Sudan, Guinea Conakry, Nigeria, and many others. Now, I have been talking about the concept of an open ecosystem. What is this ecosystem? Who is in there? This ecosystem is not just made of vendors and mobile operators. It includes in their governments. It includes in their regulators. Also, local startups in Africa, and this is something that Africa is really driving, is innovation within Africa for our own context. And all of these are joining this growing ecosystem of software integrators, system integrators, software developers, hardware developers, and various others. So watch this space because Open RAN is on the path to bring a major change in the world of mobile communication. Thank you.